Hey everybody, it's Paul Stevens from I Go Sales and Marketing here. I often get clients who are trying to add their um, GoDaddy uh, email or cPanel email uh, to their Microsoft Outlook. Um, and uh, I often give them a tutorial on how to do it in uh, Microsoft Outlook. Um, on the desktop, but online they seem to struggle. So I'm going to give you some uh, tips and advice here how to set up your uh, GoDaddy or cPanel email on your Outlook. So once you're already logged into your Outlook account, um, you want to go up the top here to settings and um, you're going to want to go all the way down to the bottom here to view full settings. The next thing you're going to want to do is make sure you're on email over here and then go to accounts okay so we are going to want to add an account now so um, I should have sent you or you're using another website designer or whatever they should have sent you the logins passwords server settings all that kind of stuff um, and here's where you want to enter it so we want to select other email accounts and uh, we'll give this one a name I'll just call it test. This is actually one of my clients accounts but I, I'll blur out the pertinent information. So I'm just going to copy in. Uh, Control V is a great way to do that. And then always just check the beginning and the end. Make sure there's no empty spaces there. Um, then what we want to do is sometimes I find this a little bit tricky so I leave the password blank. Uh, and then I say manually configure the uh, POP and IMAP uh, settings. And then you have two choices here. Uh, you have a choice to import this email into your existing folders. Uh, so what will happen if you select this option is the email just come in like all the other emails right into your inbox. Um, if you select create a new folder, uh, then what will happen is it will have its own email folder. Um, so give some choice there as to what you want to do um, it, many I personally like to keep everything in its own folder but some people like to have them all come in at once so here's what we do uh, we're just gonna say okay at this point and you'll see it will ask us again for the email address the username so I'm just gonna copy the username into this field here paste and I'm going to copy the password over here and then um, paste it's in there um, the next thing I'm going to do is I have to make a decision here um, again you get the same two choices from the previous screen of uh, create a new folder or import uh, but the next decision you need to make here is um, whether or not you want to select IMAP, POP, or SMTP only. So what this means is IMAP means that if you download it to Outlook and you delete it from Outlook, it will also delete it from the server. Um, and then it will send it through the server every time. If you select POP, um, and this may be good if you have multiple people uh, downloading emails, if you select POP it will download the email, but if you de if you delete it from your server from your local Outlook, it won't delete it from the server. Um, and then SMT only would would not download any emails. It would just allow you to send through that server. So in most cases, you're probably going to want to um, you know to make your life sane if you're you know logging in on your phone and on on your computer and on your laptop and your iPad and all that kind of stuff usually if you read an email once you don't want to have to read it and deal with it on every single device so IMAP is usually the best solution but that's up to you so uh, I'm going to uh, take a look at the info that uh, came from the uh, cPanel um, so the incoming server uh, if I'm using IMAP, I will use the information for uh, IMAP, and if I'm using um, POP, I would use the information for POP. So right now the incoming server is the same in both cases. Um, I'm just going to paste it in there. And none of this is confidential. I mean, these are like GoDaddy servers. So um, the important thing here in, at this point is if you selected IMAP, uh, for GoDaddy anyway, it's 993, and if it's POP, 
it's 995. So in our case, we're doing IMAP. I'm going to do 993. Um, and authentication. Uh, they don't really make it super clear uh, from GoDaddy, but it says authentication is required. So you do want to make sure um, that uh, you have the authentication uh, selected. Um, and what you want to do here is then decide um, if you want to send your email from your provider's email. So in other words, it would it would they wouldn't see it came from Outlook. It came from whatever your email address is on GoDaddy. Um, or you have the choice where it will always show it comes from Outlook. Um, again, it's a choice depending on what you're trying to do. In most cases, you're going to want to leave it with the first one. So I'm going to select here the outgoing server and just paste it in here. And sometimes you have to do a little bit of cleanup when you paste it and just make sure again there's no spaces at the end because that can mess you up. Uh, the outgoing server port in this case according to the documentation is 465 and let me just make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay. And uh, if I select OK, hopefully we should get this to be set up. And it looks good. There it is right there. There's the email address. Uh, you can see it did connect and update. And uh, in, in this case, I will have a server. I will have a, um, a uh, inbox folder. Uh, for that email uh, and that's it as long as you see that it actually did update uh, then it connected and you're good uh, so that's it thank you